All right, everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome to another segment of The Country Life. I'm Big Country. This is my wife, Laura. Let them know what we're doing today, baby. We're doing crab stuffed pork chops and roasted Brussels sprouts with vegetables and bacon. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and start doing, my wife's going to show you all how to mix the uh, crab meat, make the mixture for the crab meat. You go ahead, baby, get started. Okay, well, the crab meat that I'm making today is what I, how I make it when I want to make crab cakes. So, and this is real 100% crab meat. Can. Why you don't just pull it up, pull it all out there? Because I'm fluffing, I'm trying to shred it. it. Yeah, I'm shredding it at the same time as I'm trying to take it out. Okay. I want to keep some big pieces, but not all of them. Okay, I just said that so they know what's going on. Okay. Hope everybody out there doing all right today. It's a beautiful day. What's in the oven? Oh, I got bacon in the oven, um, roasting in the oven for the Brussels sprouts. Again, I'm just breaking apart the crab meat. Sort of like you're doing a chicken salad or tuna fish. And leave some pieces nice and big and chunky. yesterday. I have my bell pepper, my yellow and red peppers, and onions. It's like a quarter of each. A quarter what of each? A quarter of the bell peppers, oh, okay. a quarter of the peppers, a quarter of the of an onion. Smells good already. So far, that's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna add my seasonings. I'm about a fourth of, of salt, a fourth teaspoon of salt. You don't wanna add too much, you can add more later. About a half a teaspoon of black pepper coarse black pepper about a quarter teaspoon of onion powder baby. A quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And we use powder because we don't like to use garlic salt or uh, onion salt. It makes stuff too salty sometimes. And about a quarter cup. 
quarter cup. I meant quarter a tablespoon. of parsley. Okay, that's about a tablespoon. All right, and we're gonna use about a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. What the, what the bread, bread crumbs do? It's gonna help mold it and bind it together. Bind it Mm -hmm. Along with the eggs. That's about a half a cup. You don't want too much because you don't want it to be dry. And I'm going to use two eggs. And after the eggs, what you do? Mix. You want to put mix. your gloves on? Alright. You want to mix it? All right, y'all, putting on these gloves so I can cut this uh, pork chop. Pork chop. The two inch thick pork They're chop. They're two inches thick. If, you, if you're going to do this recipe, try to get you, go to your nearest meat market. Or like we use BJ's or Sam's Club. And uh, ask them could they cut it uh, for, stuff. for stuffing. So you can use the stuff that is usually like a... Like two inches thick is good. See this right here? Mm -hmm. Y'all see how that pork chop right there? Two inches. I'll show y'all how I'm doing this while my wife over there mixing that up. Mm -hmm. I think I might need one more egg. I'm going to take it. Can y'all see it right here? And go straight down the middle. Be careful. I'll lay it to the side, put your hand down on it, mm -hmm. and, and cut. And put it back in the mixture so the mixture can get in on the center. I think I'm going to use one more egg. This is a lot of meat. around in there to make a good pocket. Okay, I want to make a good pocket inside here. Y'all see that? I'm going to make a good pocket. See how foot back is going? Try to get it a little deeper. Okay. That's a good mm -hmm. pocket. That, see my fingers all the way down in there like that? Mm -hmm. a good pocket, right? <laughs> see that people? See how deep my fingers go in there? A good pocket. That's how you want to do it. Right there. Always keep a clean dish rag. And I forgot about a teaspoon of lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice would be better, but I don't have any more lemons. You know, lemon go really good with seafood. Okay. And I am adding a third egg. All right, y'all. Get ready to stuff these bad boys. This is the consistency you want your um, crab cake mixer to look like. And you want to just take a take amount. small amounts, cut the whole small. Okay. Take small amount, that whole small. Mm -hmm. You could 
take two people to do this. I mean, you can use it, do it by yourself, but it helps to have a second hand. toothpicks and water because these are going to be put in gr on the grill just like you would do shish kebab sticks okay, make sure it goes all the way through And I'm gonna make some kind of sauce to go on top so That's you can how they it. should look. Yeah. Seal it in there. You see that? Get one more right there. Right here. down three to go. Now the last time say what now? I was gonna say the last time we stuffed the pork chops, we stuffed it with spinach spinach. Spinach <laughs> spinach, mozzarella cheese and ricotta cheese. And garlic. You can stuff it with whatever you want you to stuff You can stuff it, pork chops right? with whatever you like. Okay. All right, y'all. This is the outcome of the uh, stuffed pork chops, all of them stuffed. Now that I'm uh, going to set the grill up, and uh, we're going to get this grill started in a minute. We still got to do the roasted vegetables. Death, death. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm down to the uh, Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Take them and just cut them in half, just like this is. Just cut them in half. Just cut them right through the uh, stalk. Just do it just like that. Ain't up a miniature. That's, it. That's all cabbage. it is. Miniature cabbage. Okay, in this you bowl. See that dish right? We have um, the Brussels sprouts and. Okra. And okra. Now, if you don't like okra, you don't have to put okra. Tell um, what all you're going to mix I'm in it, baby. Also, adding um, just red peppers, yellow peppers, just a handful. And also, 
Pass me the other bag, please. Just tell me what all you put in. I'm telling you. <laughs> Onions and green peppers. A handful of onions. A handful of everything. You don't need a whole lot. And the green peppers there. Okay. I like to cut up my onions and peppers when I get them and dice them up and put them in the freezer. They last a longer time than that. And green peppers. So I put a handful of red and yellow peppers, a handful of green peppers, a handful of onions. Okay, now I'm about to season it with onion powder, very little. Onion Less, powder and what else? Onion powder, about a half a teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder, and black pepper and salt. Okay, we'll be right back, y'all. All right, y'all, she got it mixed up. And this is what it looks like. You see Everything that? Mixed up together. Baby, can you pour Spread it on it up. Or hold it? Okay, I'll okay. hold it for you. You don't add the bacon bits until it comes out of the oven. But I baked my um, bacon, slab bacon at that, and got it nice and crispy. And that's it right there. And this is the bacon right here, y'all. And you see the bacon right here? Chopping that up makes it easier. And you spread this out flat so everything could cook at the same rate. Just one layer. You don't pile them on top of each other. It's so pretty. The colors. The color of everything is so pretty. And it's healthy. The only thing that ain't going to be healthy is the bacon bits. <laughs> That's what take it from healthy to not healthy. <laughs> you know, you can also do your um, zucchini and squash the same way. Okay. And I put this in the oven at 300 degrees. And I let it slow cook about mm, a half an hour to 45 minutes. Yeah. And put it about how many degrees? 300 degrees. And a 300 degrees temperature in the oven for f a half an hour to 45 minutes. Okay. That is done. That's good enough or I need a piece of and you can keep them chunky. So that's good. Yeah, absolutely. All right, y'all. She said that's good enough. And the rest of the mixture for the crab meat, I'm going to make some crab cakes. So that's why this is sitting here like that. Okay, so I can go and get the grill prepared. Yeah, and get started. All right, we'll be back. See you at dinner time. All right, y'all. Get ready to put these chops on this grill. Getting ready to get it right with these chops, y'all. Getting ready to get it right with these chops, y'all. These stuffed chops, y'all. Yeah. Yes, yes, y'all. Yes, yes. You gonna get it right with these bad boys in? Put this 
remaining sauce over these bad boys. Go, yo. There we go. <coughs> there we go, y'all. I'll let y'all see when I get through what I'm doing the first one before I. I got it over the direct heat. This the indirect heat side. I'm gonna go ahead and sear them over the direct heat. And then once I get them seared on both sides, I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the indirect heat and just let them slow cook. That's what we're gonna do with them today, y'all. And there go my big boy right here, y'all. That's my big boy right there. That's the one I take and do everything with. All the big cooks, hogs and everything else. I got a smoker on that bad boy. I got a uh, three bay deep fry on it, two eyes, two burners, and a big hog cooker on the back. That's my trailer, my cook trailer right there. That's what I do everything with, the big stuff. But we're gonna turn it back to the to the house stuff here. Yes sir, y'all. That's it. That's it. Pour them juices on it, let them let that fire get back to temperature, and we're gonna be on to the race, off to the races. Getting it right, y'all. Getting it right. Getting it right, y'all. Yes, yes. Y'all see that right there? All right, y'all. That's the finished product of the stuffed pork chops. Stuffed with the uh, crab filling. And these are some beef hot dogs my wife wanted. So, uh, got them done. And, uh... I'll show y'all the plated product. All right, everyone. This is the finished product of the, uh, excuse me. This is the finished product of the uh, pork chops stuffed with crab meat and the uh, Brussels sprouts and okra veggie roast can y'all see that can y'all see that mm, mm, mm. now let me give it a shot see what see what uh if it got countries approval see what's going on here y'all it looks so good Let me see here. Mm. 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 Let me get a piece of it here, y'all. Is it good, babe? I'm trying to get to it. Mm. Look nice and good and stuff. Very good. There you go. Let's try it, y'all. There we go. Turn the plate around so they can see the, the center of the pork chops. Mmm. Mmm. Well, your hand is in the way. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my God. 
Mm -hmm. That is good. Yeah. That's good, baby. Right That's good. Let me let y'all see this. Mm. Y'all see that? Oh my. Mm. Yeah. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Yes. All right, y'all. I thought that stew beef yesterday was good. Oh, man. But we thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, share. Let us know what you think about this video. Um, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. So when we start uploading more videos, y'all will get the notification. God bless. We're out.